<laughs> got the Uber guy a super official full on day out here. Mega super cool official full on party here at the half pipe. I've been riding half pipe since I was 11 years old, and given the opportunity to ride some of the best half pipes around the world year round, I mean, that's the ultimate dream come true. Riding transition is kind of that fun thing that you always have, like in your back pocket. You know, front side air is always going to be there once you learn it, and it makes me think of skateboarding, riding transition, and hitting jumps and riding rails. So I'll always go to Mount Hood every summer. I mean, it's such a great place to go, post up, take some turns, ride a good half pipe in the slush. I mean, nothing's better than transition and slush. Everybody rides the half pipe in the summer, all the guys, all the rail riders, whoever, because it's, it's just fun. It's like easy to just do big slashes and sprays and it's not scary to do airs and deck, everything's soft. I come up here almost every summer to be snowboarding year round, keep myself in shape, keep riding transition, hang with my friends, camping, jumping in the lake. I know transition will be in my life forever and I'm probably will be going to Mount Hood forever. Throwing some airs, throwing buckets, a couple of high fives, and a whole lot of fun. I can't believe this is the first time I've been on top of Mount Hood. I've been coming here for 15 years and only riding the half pipe or jumps. We sort of just have a whole new appreciation and, and the way I look at mountains is growing. It's a lot different now. Sauce Faye's an interesting one in October. It's some of the better snow quality at that time of year than you get anywhere else. Getting the snowboard year round and having it be part of my job, keeping in condition, keeping the sword sharp is really a gift. It's a little bit cloudy down here, but most days when it's cloudy down here, that means it's nice and sunny up there. So let's just hope that it's sunny and we're gonna be yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On the train. Good transportation number three to get up to the glacier. We've got two trams and a train. And we're in the mountain. Right now. No coffee up. Coffee up. Oh, then me. Oh, good. Good. Great. Riding half pipes like this, built by the best guys in the business, that's fun for us. 
That's how you get really good at riding half pipe. You really can understand how the transition works and not dealing with any human error of cutting it. It's very perfect, very straight. And up here, the snow stays cold and fresh and really good. I think there's something going on in snowboarding where getting the trick done, you know, getting that 1260, it might not be tweaked, it might not be that rad looking, but whatever gets that next trick done. And for me, I like doing tricks and I like doing them well, I like doing them the way I like to do them, which is it's having fun, like really grabbing nose and tweaking and Japan's with the McTwist. That's why that's one of the funnest tricks because it has the most fun. That's why that's one of the most fun tricks I do on my snowboard is because it's I get to put so much effort into it and my effort is my style all that tweak that's what I like about half pipe riding doing tricks that feel good and look good